Hi guys and welcome back to another video. We're doing another one. Loads of these ones to get through. So um, next up is uh, Blind Melons Change. I didn't even know this tune. Shame on me. And this one is for Lee Griffiths. Thanks very much Lee, a fellow Welshman, so but a darly. Um, and uh, cheers for your Patreon support mate. I, uh, I massively appreciate it. And um, here is your just reward. So um, he wanted this one simplified. Now, it's not too difficult a tune. There's probably two sections we're going to be looking at. Um, and we're going to be looking just at open chords. But I will also show you how they play it, because it's not uh, a huge leap from getting to from basic chords to nailing it like they do. So um, let's crack on. So the intro as they play it roughly goes like this. background okay so it's just three chords you start on the A for a bar then G for a bar then D for two beats half a bar G again for two beats then back to A so just three chords A G D that's it you can play those three chords you can play this song, at least the simplified version you can play anyway. Now let's break that down into very simple chords first, okay? This is just the intro section. Two, three, four. And then if you want to do a strumming pattern like they do, you're going to be playing... So that pattern slowly is. There's a lot of upstrokes there because you want to sound out that that sort of rhythm, okay? Once you nail that, then you can start doing this sus4 and sus2 stuff. Load to that in acoustic guitar playing. So that means you are basically going to need to play the A chord like that, okay? So not like that, but like that. So, um, so you're going to get a nice clean A chord, get all those five notes ringing out, and then you're going to be um, basically playing with um, your fourth and third fingers, okay, whilst you're playing the chord. Okay, and then you change chords. So. And I'm accenting the upstrokes. I'm still playing some of the downstrokes, okay. And then to the G. You need to do a little bit of a stretch there. Move your little finger up to the fifth fret on the E string. That is five three zero three. Okay, but with the chord. Then you're going to play a D to a G. Okay. So there you're just playing but with the chords. And then back to the A. Now you may feel yourself going to, to that um, shape for the A, but try to, try to make sure you go from the G chord to that um, uh, A chord shape there, because then you can, you can play that easier. You can do it like that. But it's and then we're into the second riff, okay? So the second riff uh, basically is back in 
into that other riff. So that is three times round of this phrase. Three times round that, okay? So two beats D, two beats G. And then a bar of A. Okay, so you do that three times. Then on the fourth time, you're gonna just do a G to a D. For two beats each, okay? That is it. Now, if you wanna get fancy, you can do the little um, mandolin part over the top. Which is 10, 12, 14 on the B string. And then seven, eight, ten on the B string. So that is Okay, so that's how those notes line up against those chords. That is pretty much the whole tune. So let me go through the verse and intro riff again slowly. Etc. Then you're into... back into the other um, riff. The solo um, is the only other bit that's different. You play basically one times round of each, each riff. So you're gonna play. Then one times round this riff. There's a slight variation then, as you're coming out of the solo, you do tag on an extra few bars, and that is a bar of G, then two beats of uh, D and G, and then a bar of A, so that would be. And you go back into the second riff, and then outro is just um, G to D. end on the G. And then, my friends, you are done. So Lee, I hope you enjoyed that one, buddy. And um, uh, that was good fun trying to work out. And it's quite a simple tune to do in the end. So thank you for watching again. And see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.